Hello again, everybody. Welcome to Lions Pride. Danny Daniels along with James Friddle, who is the uh, coach of the, well, you coach both men and women, right? Both men and women here at Emmanuel and enjoying every minute. All right, and volleyball. Emmanuel last year, in their first year in Conference Carolinas, won five conference championships. Women's volleyball was one of those five. They went 23-9 and nine overall. Only one conference loss, so that had to be a fun year. Oh, it, it was a fun year. We we kind of jump-started it, and then all the other teams followed suit. So we, we won ours back in November, um, and then all of a sudden men and women's basketball get theirs, women's swimming gets theirs, uh, and then tennis finishes it off uh, right there near the end of the, the academic school year. So it was, it was a fun year, and that doesn't even include all the other accolades, the Wrestling All-American, uh, the individual national champion from a swimmer from the men's swim team. So it, it was it was a fun year to be a part of just in our first year. Uh, and that was my first year here at Emmanuel. And so it's like, all right, let's keep this thing going. Uh, let's continue the success throughout the athletic department. So I'm, I'm excited for, for the second year and being in the NCAA uh, and then being able to compete again for Conference Carolinas. So you won a conference championship in your first year. Must have got a really big raise. <laughs> my my raise was now full time doing both programs, so that was that was my big raise. Yeah, we'll show you. <laughs> uh, no, it was after after last season. So I did last season. It's kind of uh, the initial plan was almost a temporary uh, status, and then at the end of the season, initially we were gonna turn over the program, do a national search, and everything like that. Um, after, after our NCAA app, uh, appearance, Nate gives me a text and said, hey, let's talk on Monday. And so uh, I loved it. I had already been contemplating uh, kind of how, how I could do both programs full time. And uh, he presented a way and it included a lot of the stipulations I had in my mind. Um, and so I'm, I'm excited to officially be doing both full time, uh, not just kind of interim or part time. So. Did it take a lot of thought on your part as to whether to accept the uh, uh, positions? It, it did. It did. Uh, it, it was an easy decision when I first got here to accept the full-time men's uh, and then to do it um, as a part-time basis last year. It was pretty easy because there was so much talent um, and I didn't want us as an athletic department to just hire someone to hire someone yeah. and take a step back. There was, there was too many quality athletes. It was a good team, good team chemistry. Uh, didn't want to go backwards, and so that was an easy decision to do it full time. Um, had to pray about it, had to talk with my wife, and, and we formulated those kind of stipulations. And really, before I could kind of come up and tell Nate those stipulations, uh, he had already answered a yeah. lot of them in the proposal. So I, I was ecstatic to do it full time um, and excited to, to build this volleyball family at, at Emmanuel. Okay, if you're going to coach men's and women, you'll get home again toward the end of November. Yep, basically. <laughs> so <laughs> the, um, the, the first month of the season, we are, we are on the road for the first three weekends. Mm -hmm. um, one, of, one of the things I took from, from my past and kind of how things played out this year is, is I really wanted to strengthen... Uh, we had a good out-of-conference schedule last year, but I wanted to really push ourselves and really uh, have a tough out-of-conference schedule again this year. And so our first three weekends, we're on the road, so we're at LMU uh, playing three matches up there. Uh, one was the NCAA tournament team. Uh, the other two teams were regionally ranked, or one was regionally ranked, one was on the outskirts. Then our second weekend, we go to Georgia College, or we go to Augusta, and we play Augusta and Georgia College, who yeah. are both NCAA tournament teams. Uh, and then we play Albany State, which had a top 15 RPI ranking. So uh, the third weekend, we then go to Lee University, who historically has been a, a great program. Got Coach Hudson uh, there at Lee, who's and she probably doesn't like me saying that, but been there forever. <laughs> um, so she, she's built a great culture there, a great team. Um, and excited that she's she's hosting us there, and then we for our first home match in the whole month of September we have Lander, who is another NCAA regionally regional team from last year, um, and we got them as our first uh, home game for for 2019. And the only home game till the first week in October. <laughs> exactly. Jeez. 
Uh, so, like you said, the month of November is going to be a great month. It's it's at the back end of our season, and we have one away match, and that away match is North Greenville. So, one of the closest conference opponents to us. A nice simple drive up 85. Uh, go to Tigersville, and we're right there. So, we're we're excited about how the schedule lays out. Got a lot of a lot of chance to prove ourselves early in the season uh, and, and build up against great competition before going into conference play. So um, it's, it's going to be a fun year. It's going to high expectations internally, mm -hmm. even if there's maybe not as high of expectations uh, on the regional perspective. So high expectations for ourselves and within the conference are to win it. I mean, that's, that's what the conference has put on us, and that's, that's what they believe we can do and, and we believe we can do. And those polls just came out a few minutes ago, and you're ranked number one in the yeah. number one in the preseason poll. So uh, we've even said it on our on our social media, of course, is that uh, we love it. It's a great recognition. It's it's a sign of respect. Yeah. Um, but it means nothing. It, it the the final poll is the one that means something. So it's it's to do the work to get to where the final poll has the same result as this preseason. All right, coming back, you lost probably the best player in the conference in Julie DeBlanc. Uh, that's got to hurt some. It does hurt. Um, I am I'm really optimistic, uh, actually, about where our sophomore or our freshman class from last year coming back as sophomores. Mm -hmm. um, they all made an extremely um, hard effort and, and a lot of work in the spring. So they got better in the spring. They made a jump in the spring. Uh, and then they they continue that work in the summer when when I'm not around when I can't be around yeah. and they have to do a lot of the work on their own they came back this fall ready to go um, and so one of those players is Taylor uh, Taylor Roberts uh, so she's a sophomore middle blocker um, so she she's looking to fill fill that position I don't like to say fill those shoes because yeah. Julie Julie was a different type of middle than a lot of middles in the conference so our offense will change a little bit. Um, and we'll rely on a few different people uh, that were even on the team last year to do a little bit different things this year. How do they, uh, Julie was a tall girl, is Taylor big? So Taylor's about 6'1", 6'2". Okay, um, so Julie, Julie had really used her time here to, to get stronger in the weight room, to, to just build uh, experience, to, to really get polished by the time she left. Um, that's what Taylor's in the process of. Yeah. Now, Taylor, we're not expecting Taylor to be where Julie was senior year. Yeah. Honorable mention All-American last match of the season. No. Um, do I think Taylor has the potential to, to be an Honorable mention All-American? Oh, yes. Um, I think we have two of the best middles uh, in the conference. Mia uh, McKenzie and, and Taylor are great. And then, and then right now we're working with, with Gabby, a freshman from Tennessee. Um, to get to that same level. We're, we're excited about where she is. She's another big frame body, about 6'2". Um, so we're, we're looking to, to continue to develop her and to, to get her where, um, where we want our middles to be. Uh, in home games, we, you don't have but just a handful of home games. Well, that's what, four in a row in November. But is it a big advantage to play volleyball at home? It is, it is, and we, we have one of the best arenas in, in Division II, and uh, when it comes to volleyball gyms, we, we're, we're top of the top in Division II. There's, um, I, I came from a, the previous institution I was at, was a top 10 program. Mm -hmm. um, outdoor facilities were top 10 caliber. Indoor facilities were good. Mm -hmm. They were good, but uh, we're better here, and that, that's saying something, that a top, we're better than a top 10 program when it comes to a volleyball arena. So when we get a chance to play on our home court um, and play in front of our fans, it is a big advantage. Uh, we, we, have, we have some of the best student body um, in the conference. For a scrimmage uh, the other night, we actually had uh, almost a full crowd for a scrimmage. And mm -hmm. so that's the, that's the type of crowd that we're able to attain on a regular basis. Yeah. Uh, and it's, it's fun. You were just with the recruit before we came in here. Does that help recruiting or do you gonna have good fan support and play in a good arena? Oh it does. It does. When 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 we're able to because we're we're starting and that that's my mindset is to, to be open to recruiting on the national level. Meaning that we're we have recruits from Texas, Georgia, Tennessee, Illinois, 
um, wherever. And so when, when you're asking them to come on visits, a lot of times they're a little bit skeptical. And then you start talking about the facilities, you start talking about the, cr the crowd atmosphere, um, and they become enticed to come on campus. Then they come on campus and they see this place and they're like, okay, yeah, coach, you weren't just lying to us. <laughs> This, this is actually, this is a place I would love to play. And so uh, it, it's, it's a huge selling point. This is actually, this girl who's on campus today is actually her second time on campus. Um, and so she, she wanted to come back and get a better feel for the culture and get a better feel for the team itself. And so uh, it's, it's, it's an exciting time to be a, a Lion. So uh, the thriving metropolis of Franklin Springs doesn't really sell itself. No, it doesn't. It doesn't sell itself. Now, I, I tell all the recruits, and I'm, I'm going to tell this just as if it's a recruiting PSA yeah. that it, that I could easily say, "Oh yeah, we're close to Atlanta. We're close yeah. to Greenville, Spartanburg. We're close to these bigger cities." But uh, I like to be completely honest and say, "Hey, yeah, if if you want to fly in and out, easy airports. Mm -hmm. so you got cheap, easy flights whenever you want." Uh, if you really want to see that city life, you got that to experience it. But I want to be clear that, I mean, we as Franklin Springs, we're a small southern town, yeah. mom and pop type restaurants, mom and pop type feel to the college. It's, it's everyone knows everybody feel. Uh, and, but it also has the advantages to where it's that family atmosphere and you get that sense of, hey, these people really do care about me. It's, I'm just not a number that these people care about me. And so that, that part can sell itself, mm -hmm. but to get them past the, the, the hey, this is Franklin Springs, <laughs> um, that you, you have to, to kind of explain the full picture. And we've got a McDonald's here. <laughs> so we got somewhere to feed you. <laughs> James, I appreciate it. Uh, season starts when? September 6th, uh, up at Lincoln Memorial. And you're going to be on the road to the 24th of September. So uh, have a good time with all those bus rides. Oh, yeah. And, uh, bus rides, hotels. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk again during the regular season and, and update everybody on your program. Congratulations on last year. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. All right. That's James Brittle, the uh, head women's and men's volleyball coach here at Emmanuel. We'll see you next time.